welcome on a new adventure on my YouTube channel. Today we are in Langkawi and I will show you around the island. Let's go! This time we will discover the mangrove forest of Langkawi, the Tangyung Ru Beach, Black Sand Beach and the Tamarun Waterfall. Kilim Geo Forest Park or Santuary Bakau is actually a mangrove sanctuary. This is a raised mangrove boardwalk through the forest where you can get a closer look at the trees and the wildlife amongst them. Now we are here in the Geo Park and actually I want to explore it but it's super super expensive so for one hour it's 250 ringgit and I think one hour is not worth so you have to take maybe three or four hour and then the boat will be like 450 ringgit or 500 ringgit and alone it's uh, it's not worth it would be better if you are more people then you can share the price it's a very big mangrove system here in Langkawi that's just the beginning but outside it's so so huge I want to fly my drone here but I think it's not allowed it and Malaysia is actually very nice because you don't need a permission to fly your drone like Thailand I found another beach now not far from here it's also near to the mangrove system so I would try to fly the drone there Let's go. Here are some drone shots of the Mangrove Pier and the Tangyung Ru Beach. So I just stopped by this beach here on the north side from Langkawi. And it looked pretty nice, also the water quality and the white sand beach. Pretty amazing view here. If you want to rent a scooter in Langkawi, I recommend to don't do it in the pier directly. Just check the scooter rentals on the island and try to find a better one because on the pier it's like a scam. And also if you fill up the gasoline, it's completely different to Asia, to Thailand. You have to pay first and then fill up your gasoline. So you never know how much gasoline you need. Better don't pay too much like me before. I'm here now at the northest beach in Langkawi and I just bought some fried banana in the plastic bag. So let's see, it looks very stunning. I will show you some drone shots and also some normal shots from the beach now. Tang Yung Ru Beach, located at the northeastern edge of Langkawi at a remote corner. If you're looking for a secluded beach away from the crowd that offers breathtaking view of the emerald blue water, I would recommend you to come here. This is an abandoned sand mining island which looks pretty cool. The word Tan Yung in Malay means a cape or a promontory and Ru stands for casuarina trees. This beautiful beach has white sand with crystal clear and clean water and it is one of the cleanest beaches of the Langkawi island. The beach is so beautiful and there's a big mangrove system behind where you can take a mangrove tour. I also saw a lot of speedboats here on this beach. If you want to go to Langkawi, you have two options. You can take a flight to the airport here or you can take the ferry from Perlis. And the ferry is much cheaper so you can decide how many budget you have. And I highly recommend to visit Langkawi because it's a beautiful island. You can also rent a kayak here or ATV and if you're hungry there are also some options here they have burger and there are some more shops for clothes my next stop was at wild beach where you can find these huge rock formations there were also many eagles flying around so I had to be careful with my drone wild beach and opposite there there's black sand beach I think it's the same like here you can see there are a lot of black dots in the sand but this beach is much better and I also I flew my drone already and there were many many eagles around Langkawi is also known for Eagle Island because here are a lot of eagles just climbed up these rocks but I can't go down anymore so I have to jump now Whoop. I love these beaches, these big rocks, this looks 
pretty same like in Koh Tao, Thailand. But here are no people. Look insane. Look like it was cut in two pieces. But I don't know where the other half is. <laughs> but let's go to the next destination. I saw there is a coconut farm. And they also have nice food there, I hope. And it's only five minutes with scooter. So let's do this. I decided to skip the coconut farm and drove directly to the highest waterfall in Langkawi where I saw many monkeys. We are here now at the waterfall Temurun, north side from Langkawi. And we also have a friend waiting here already for us. A lot of story about the geopark. Air Tertun, Temurun. And here are some animals you can find here. Meaning of forest. So let's do the trail. In the rain season I think there is more water because now it looks very empty. Let's see how much water the waterfall has. I just hear some tourists screaming. So maybe there are some aggressive monkeys. If they attack me, I will give them my water bottle. A lot of steps. The water looks super, super clear. So it's same I thought, there's not much water. But it still looks very stunning. The cliff is so big. And there was a lot of monkey. I hope they're not aggressive. The pond is not very deep, but good enough for swimming and bathing. Let's enjoy the overlooking view of Langkawi's ancient rainforest. I'm always curious whenever I find a mysterious road. I will take a ride and let's see what I can find. I followed the private road here on the west end on Lakabi. And actually it was close, but the local people drove inside. So I followed them. And I came here to this private beach. And looks like they make a party down there. So I checked it out already. It's not really beautiful, a lot of stone there. But still nice, stunning area. golf course on the west part of Langkawi. When you drive the road to the end you will find the golf course. So there are a lot of hungry monkeys <laughs> searching for the rest of the food in the trash. My K beach is a hidden gem for me. There is clear and clean water and it's not crowded. And people told me they have a green sand there. I don't know why it's green but let's check it out. There is a big monitor lizard. They are actually very shy, so he will run away. There is this green sand. After a long day I decided to watch the sunset next to a fisherman village in Kua near the pier. The colors were amazing and I also flew my drone again, which I will show you in the next scenes. Here is a small fishing village where I will watch the sunset now and also fly the drone. Thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe and hit the bell that you don't miss out my next adventure on my YouTube channel. Peace!